the way in which your state came into being, was established, was completely immoral in every single way, shape or form. You had terrorist activity by the Irgun and by the Haganah and by Levi, which in 1946 culminated in the King David hotel bombing, which was the targeting of civilians. And that terrorist activity was rewarded by the British Empire after the, after the resolution in 1947 by the UN, 1948 uh, Israel became what it is today. The only thing you guys really have to say about that is that, well, we, have a, we were there in 70 AD, there was a siege of Jerusalem, very well known. Now we talk about ancient history. The fact that the Romans were here, okay, there was the, Gal uh, what's it called, the Gallic Wars or whatever, in, uh, uh, before Christ. So some Ital Italian guy comes and says, we're Roman, we have rights to Britain. This is the ridiculous nature of the claim. No one makes these, you have to understand guys, no one makes these claims except for Zionists. Understand that. I tell you something, under the Ottoman Empire, Jewish people, and you know this, you, you will agree with this. Yeah, we have spoken about it. Yeah, they, they have been, they were actually fleeing from the, from the, the Christian West after the Inquisition 1492. They were fleeing, running away to the Muslims where they had their golden era. We say this, we say we believe in coexistence. We, but we, we believe in coexistence not at our expense, never at our expense. Coexistence doesn't mean you come into my house and say that if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. What we're seeing with Yaqub, this Jacob, this pathetic, that fat slob. Yaqub, you know this is not your house. Yes, but if I go, you don't go back. So what's the problem? Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do this. I didn't do this. But, but you're you're It's you're... easy to yell at me, but I didn't do this. Yeah, you are helping. stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. I'm just going to answer a few of your points. The British, the colonials, Free the state of Israel before they even control the area. Yes. Already was interested in splitting two people apart. Yes. That's number one. So the colonialists who had this vision of breaking two people, a bond that we've had for thousands of years, were the colonials British. That's fact number one. Fact number two is, when we talk about the colonial Brits, occupied the, the area of Palestine at those times, which people kicked the colonialists out were the terrorist Jewish organizations. That's the, that's the fact. As you mentioned before, these three organizations kicked the colonial British out of the area that is called Palestine. What you mean to say is that they committed terrorist attacks against a colonial spot. No, no, no. They killed civilians. All right. So let's be honest. 1940. I'm not justifying it. Good, good. In no, no way at all. I'm just stating right, the fact of who yeah, kicked yeah. the colonial out. No, no. Menachem Begin, who is part of the Irgun, okay? Yes. He became the prime minister of the country okay from 1977 to 1981 and he was one of the perpetrators of the bombing on civilians in a hotel now i want to put king it this david. king david hotel yeah, 1946 right i would condemn all uh, of course I you condemn. Condemn. I can I can condemn all. good but because, he became no. but i'm just telling you the point of i tried to bring a different point completely not about the terror attacks where we condemn it and as we have said before evil is evil no matter who perpetrates it no what i'm saying no, I'm is trying this. To the different point is no. who kick the colonials out. No, 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 what but you're calling terrorists? this kicking them out. This is not kicking them out. This is the British Empire and the UN rewarding a terrorist organization for their terrorism. That's what it is. And agree with me at this this much. Okay. The British could go back to Britain. The Zionists, when what they call home is Zion, is what every Jew has prayed for for the two last okay. 2,000 years, right. Right, is to go to that land. Yeah. And let's put it this way. On this point, Muhammad no, 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 we no. are going to agree 100% yes, yes. to disagree. Okay, I'll fine. tell you why we're going right, to do fine, that. Fine, fine, fine. Because we are conflating now something called Zionism and Judaism as well. And How? Judaism, I can't agree that you should ever be able to touch for a simple reason. The hope for Zion, not just I pray for it every day, I pray for it in a peaceful way, in an utopia where we'll be able to live together and the temple will be built where it was built before, Al-Aqsa and Aram al-Sharif, um, temple will be built there, but it will be a place of prayer. So you have for, to destroy uh, the no, 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 no destroying, a place so what, of prayer. Where, where would the Aqsa go? It will work in a way that I'm, I'm not God. Yeah. I've never done anything. I haven't created a world. I just about know when I get up in the morning, what time I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. I've got no idea how it's going to happen, but there's going to be a place for all mankind. Muslim brothers and Jewish brothers and Christian brothers all yes. will be able to pray in that place. And now we could agree and disagree. We don't want to pray in the temple. We don't want to pray in the temple. No. Aaron, listen. What I was going to say is this. The reason why I mentioned, by the way, Urgun and the fact that they became part of the Lukid party and it's because we want to, sh we want to show, you're talking about how, how much you circle backwards. We circle backwards to the inception of the state of Israel and we realize that you have literal terrorist organizations like Urgun.
being absorbed into what is now the Likud Party, who, of course, Netanyahu leads. Prime Minister of the State of Israel, I invite him to address the Assembly. The Abraham Accords heralded the dawn of a new age of peace. But I believe that we are at the cusp of an even more dramatic breakthrough, an historic peace between Israel and Saudi Arabia. Such a peace will go a long way to ending the Arab-Israeli conflict. It will encourage other Arab states to normalize their relations with Israel. Now look at what happens when we make peace between Saudi Arabia and Israel. The whole Middle East changes. We tear down the walls of enmity. We bring the possibility of prosperity and peace to this entire region. Muslim, Allah.